politics without consideration of honesty and honor for performance. A politics that does not recognize performance, even when he's your opposite opponent and he's not your friend and you're finding good and you fail to come out and speak that politician is an enemy of God. I may not believe in many things they do, but I see one good thing or one good material among them. I should be good enough to God and to society. This is good. Irrespective of the fact that we don't belong to the same political ideology. I met Inubu came out to be a good copycat and a developer of human development. One of his journalists even said that Obundoku wanted something from him, that's why he wrote. But it wasn't just one time, two times. And I didn't go to Tinubu, I didn't want anything. They were saying it. If you fail to identify yourself with a good performance, you are an enemy of progress and the society that they serve. When Mabaola will come to Iwoto to make a campaign, we not talk about, I want to bring growth, I want to do this. His own campaign, when he gets out of that first bang bang you call Abiola Ogunduku. Don't call him Ogunduku, call him Ogulu too. I cannot speak against a war because of the tremendous respect that old man gave to me for three hours flight from London to New York on a Concord flight. That was my first interaction, serious interaction with Baba Olawo. I even offered me a, mini, a minister of uh, uh, finance, honorable like I swear in the name of in God, Oshos, God. Or your state. Or your, your state. state. Or your state. God. His father, can't I mm. Contested the council assembly with me in 1977-76. I beat all of them. Baba Lowo is a generous, Baba Lowo is a good man. But the only thing that destroys his party is the violence and destruction of opponents. And one thing that was rampart in their party was you have to be part of the court. Good man, the greatest made, mistake he made was his quarrel with her, Akintala. Mm. Anything they call God, mm. in first. In it. Because, yeah, because they are calling God to assist them to take their prayers. They don't say what is true. They should answer my prayer. Mm. Mm. When you are fighting, you don't say your enemy should die or mm. destroy him and disgrace him. Mm. We wanted to destroy Akintala. Akintala could not be destroyed. The thing that destroyed Lord they, they killed Akintala. Well, we are in the house, in the historical home of 
the man himself, here is somewhere in Ibadan, in a government residential area, somewhere in Ibadan land, West Africa, the home of High Chief Abiola Ogundoku, the Jagun party of the South Ileife, the Aquasian law of Asian Oshun land in Oshun state, the urban law of Iwo kingdom, and the bachelor of Muslimi of Iwo land, and a man of historical intelligence, a man of impeccable achievement, a thoroughbred, wonderful, born journalist, media baron, publisher of Conscience International Magazine, a conference initiator, a man who has seen it all. Today we're going to be expressing a counter with him. We're going to express ourselves politically. He's going to talk about the Muslim Muslim ticket. In February, when we came to his house here, we raised the issue of the presidential race in 2023, and he went ho ha 100% for Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu of APC. He predicted that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is going to win the primary in, in June. And it happened the way he said it. And he told us in the interview that he has never lost any election. We don't know how and what he meant by that. But eventually, the person he predicted became the primary and the flag bearer of the All Progressive Congress election in Abuja. Today, we are going to revisit the victory, the emergence of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We're going to talk about the Muslim Muslim ticket between Tinubu Shetima and the perception of the Northern and the Southern Christian and how Chief Ogudokun sees it. He, as a large-hearted Muslim, we are going to talk about the issue of Yoruba nation. We are going to talk about local issue in Oshun State and in the home front of Iwo land. We are going to have a whole lot of potpourri of issues and at the end of the day, you're going to see that the interview is going to be rich, episode by episode, column by column, session by session. Please kindly join me. Let's move into the house, into the home, into the ambience of High Chief Abiola Omokwenu Abiono Ogundoku, the Obanla of Iwo Kingdom. Let's go. God bless you. God bless you. How was your outing, sir? God bless you. God bless you. High chief. High chief. High chief. High chief. High chief. I love you. You're the best. 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 You live like a king. In the Rita Basho room. I am a king. Yeah, you are a king. You are the Oban Love you. The, yes, you are the you are now the you are gonna be the Oban Love Ibad. <laughs> so go, Eba, that's interesting, sir. Go little, sir. Yeah. Go, sir. Yeah. Uh, Well, it's another very lovely, wonderful day on planet Earth. A very good day, a day of grace, a day of faithfulness with God Almighty, a day of grace under the inspiration of God's creativity and all that. Today is the 31st of October, year 2020. A Monday, and we thank God that we find ourselves in the eighth city of Ibadan, Missy Ogo, the biggest city in West Africa. And uh, we are very pleasant, we are very happy that we are with a man of impeccable achievement, a great man, an octogenarian, a statesman, a leader, a media leader, a thinker, a doer, a traditional chief, a community leader, and a media leader. We want to appreciate 
the goodness of the people around him for giving us this opportunity after four or five months that we have been hunting him for this interview. I am talking about the one and only High Chief Abiola Ogutokun, the Akwesin Ola of Irian Shuland, the Jagun Pote of the source Ileife, and the Obanla of Iwokidon, and also the Bajoran Muslimi of Iwoland. A man of many parts, a man of history, a man of his own era, and a man of the present era, a man of the past, the future, and the nearest tomorrow, a man of diplomatic bridges between the military era and the democratic dispensation in Nigeria, the publisher, extraordinary, and the owner of Conscience International Magazine, a media baron par excellence. We want to thank you today for giving us this opportunity, sir. We want to appreciate you because we know your schedule has been so very, very uh, terrific uh, from Lagos to London, back to Iwo, to Oshogbo, and the entire Oshun state and everything happening. But let's start by asking that, how is it today in Ibadan, in your wonderful estate here, where you have a lot of people in the last two hours, people have been trooping in, trying to see you for one political solution or the other. But how is life, sir, really, sir, with you, sir? We thank God, and I thank God many, many times on Cantable. I, can't, I thank you very much for placing me on this opportunity, which you have always done, in consideration of your belief in me, and I know God is going to raise you up to be somebody Amen. and to be man of God for life. Amen. We are happy we are in this position here in this part of the world. And I believe that whatever is missing, God is going to take care of it. Amen. He's already working towards getting us a viable, stable society by trying to get us a candidate that will bring Nigeria back to its uh, normal status. So, I thank God he's doing everything. We are able to sleep and wake up. We thank God. Yeah. We are grateful to God that we woke up. We had something to eat. We don't go out begging. We thank God. Yeah. We thank God. Many people want us to leave. Some people don't want us to be in existence. Yeah. We thank God for disgracing those who want an end to our life. And we thank God for putting us a right to think right and do things right so that the world will be a better place for everybody. I thank you also that God has taken care of your direction, your movement, and that God is going to bless you. Amen, I thank sir. you, I thank God. Amen, sir. Let, 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 let's uh, quickly go in by asking, before we go into politics, I want to ask you that, what is it like with the name? Abelo Gudoku, how do you handle it? I mean, that name is too big. High Chief Abelo Gudoku. I mean, how does it sit on you? How do you handle it? What responsibility comes with being an Abelo Gudoku? It's God's making. It's not me. I don't know what is Abelo Gudoku. Abelo Gudoku is everything about love, God, justice, and doing things right, and helping people to progress, and being bold enough to speak the truth despite whatever odd hmm. to do good and build people up no matter what they even do to you you keep on doing it and god is with you those who are destroying fellow human beings they don't live long many of my contemporaries are no longer living but god keeps me staying ah yemi. i don't know how to thank god enough abiolo hmm. gunduku is god speaking so i cannot tell you who's abiolo I mean, this, 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 this is very interesting. I mean, I mean, I'm looking at you from historical perspective, and I see that in the last 40 to 50 years, you have always leaned towards the conservative from your NCNC days to the NPN, NPN days under uh, uh, President Shehu Shagari. I mean, even up to the PDP days, when I met you at the PDP convention in year 2006 in Abuja, that is during the tenure of His Excellency, or like we in Ola in Oshun State, you have been everything. Even at that time, you were the tactical chairman uh, for the party in Oshun here. Yes. Now, I want to ask that how did you suddenly change? And today, now you are now in the, in the, in the progressive. I mean, 
you are now campaigning for someone like uh, Chief Bola Met, you know, and uh, you are now, I mean, it's so ecstatic with APC and the progressive family. The politics without consideration of honesty and honor for performance. A politics that does not recognize performance, even when it's your opposite opponent and it's not your friend, and you're finding good and you fail to come out and speak that politician is an enemy of God. How do you mean, sir? I, you mentioned how I've been part of this party that was progressive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I may not believe in many things they do, but I see one good thing or one good material among them. I should be good enough to God and to society. This is good. Irrespective of the fact that we don't belong to the same political ideology. Hmm. Hmm. That, that, that's deep, sir. When I was publicity secretary of the NPN, uh, Ahmed Inubu was governor of Lagos State. I never had anything to do with him, but I saw many goodness in him. No, no, when you are the publicity secretary of NPN, that's many years ago. Uh, yes. Before, before Tinubu, because Tinubu yeah. was probably was still in school then, or maybe still trying to pick his no, career. I, yes, I, 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 miss, I, I miss the point. Yes, sir. When Tinubu was governor of Lagos State, I happened to be a publisher. Yeah. I'm a media man. Yeah. And uh, I consider it necessary, I haven't discovered that there's good talent in him. I haven't been a good friend of Jack Candy myself. The late Latif Jack Candy. The, 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 the best the, governor that ever ruled yes. in Lagos. Yes, uh, but uh, I met Tinubu, came out to be a good copycat and a developer of human development that made me to get attracted to him. I never had any meeting, discussion with him. I wrote so many things. I published many good things. One of his journalists even said that Ogundoku wanted something from him. That's why he wrote. But it wasn't just one time, two times. And I didn't go to Tinubu. I didn't want anything. They were saying it. It is my belief that when you see something good, let the world know. When they do bad, let the world know. The only thing I hate them was a kind of a violence and transfer between the two parties. If you fail to identify yourself with a good performance, you are an enemy of progress and the society that they serve. Look at, for example, mm -hmm. I spoke of uh, uh, Ahmed Tinubu. Look at Lagos today. Tell me any state in Nigeria that you can compare with the development and the achievement of Lagos State. Tell me. Everything he has touched. Look at Oshun State. His brother is the governor of Oshun State. You see a lot of tremendous development. Look at uh, uh, Ralph, another arm of uh, Latin Jack and uh, When he came, he proved himself a good understanding of uh, governance. He did many wonderful things in terms of development. And uh, like he did something that made me to really believe in them. Hmm. Where, for example, the special advisor to the governor hmm. in our show today, Debo Badru, yes, sir. my good boy, worked for the former governor of Oshun State, mm. that is Adeliki. It was him, yeah. him, Debo, and my good friend from Ede, SOB Babalola. Chief that, SOB Babalola. That worked me into making Adeliki the first governor of Oshun State. Mm. Because the person was winning the election as governor of Oshun State. He's a lawyer from Ikino. And I use my ex expertise and experience to garner support of my own party members mm. to st stand behind Adeliki. That's Adeliki who lost to that man before we were invited. It became a parliamentary election. Mm. And I used my position to put all my legislators to support Adeliki. That's how Adeliki became 
the governor of Washington State. I'm bold to say That's it. it. Let's let Adeliki ask, uh, ask for his uh, junior that brother. That is like Adeliki to Adeliki. Yes. The area key, I, I, I can't hear you on your show. You know the day I made, I was made uh, Yeah, the uh, question on that. He was, I, I don't need to tell you the story, how the cabbie is your... Uh, it's true. Uh, 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 you can see all together here. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And the way you flex cabbie is to make it a ship the day I was made. Yeah, you Yes. He has it here too. And again, I didn't think he went to the Senate. How? I snatched the Senate from Akinlabi mm. and gave it to Adeliki in government house. In Oshobu there. In Oshobu, asked from Rizu uh, Oyinola. I used it to save a lot of uh, dangerous things happening. Mm. And I thank God Adeliki went to the Senate. But it is something bad to me. What did he do? My boy, Debo Badru, walked and gave his life to him when Adeliki won election. Yeah. Through my great God, 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 God's direction, uh, we wanted uh, just ordinary legislative aid for Debo. Just to become legislative aid to, to him. him. He said he wanted an aid man. And that Debo didn't have enough education. What education in the city? Hmm. The boy is alive. The Mala, the boy who is a uh, contest now, he's my good boy. He posts for me. Ah, the other brother, DG, is a wonderful man. That is the father of the video, the, the, education, ah. the educationist. Yeah. He's a gentleman. He's committed to his family, but he respects. Hmm. This is why. I on planned the Bona had the relationship with uh, Aregbe, who gave him something and he asked me to go and attack Aregbe for it. And I met Aregbe. How the day I discovered who is Are who Aregbe is? We talk, we talk. Then we, we decided to work together with respect. He respect me as a father. Since then, he made promises. They are part of us. We will not do anything without telling. Even though they did not tell, discuss anything with me, they appointed everything. They've never given me an appointment for all my nominees, who, mm. both are and my present governor. But I love, I've already accepted to work with them. And this is why I have been part of uh, progressive the family. APC. Who is not progressive? <laughs> Well, you thought you're, okay. What, what, what is progressive? <laughs> if I start to talk now, you never like them. All. I don't want to talk about history and what I know. I will not talk about them because one thing is that uh, I have. Uh, so you are talking about the progressive and that you who, are a progressive. Who too. is a progressive? Because we think you in the conservative who party. Who is a progressive? I cannot speak against a whole war. Because of the tremendous respect that old man gave to me for three hours flight from London to New York on a Concord flight. That was my first interaction, serious interaction with Baba Oh, and you mean you had the report later for Baba Olawo? For three hours on a Concord flight from London to New York. And honestly, I was on an espionage mission. Oh, this, this, this is a great revelation, sir. Baba, as old, as responsible, as respectful, will not even address you as Lagbaja. He will use a ye. I bet you or not. Huh. That's a great man. It's unfortunate that his party got enmeshed huh. with a lot of things. And only one man can not be the party. The party entails a lot of collective uh, efforts, partnerships. So don't drag me into talking about progressive and no progressive. No, but what was the discussion? Did we, that one wanted to win you, or you wanted to win I him? I even offered me a, mini, a minister of uh, uh, finance on Abolagi. 
I swear in the name of in Almighty Oshun's, God. Or your state. Or your, your state. state. Or your state. You wanted to be he wanted me for. to be Minister of Finance. Under the then I governor. I swear in the name of Ndabalagi. Hmm. But why didn't you take that offer? You I deserve cannot to take be it. part of their party. I don't trust the party. Why, is that? Why? Yeah, why don't you trust the party, sir? Because uh, they introduce a lot of dangerous things into politics. And I don't want to talk about that. Already, I, I'm in love with the old man. Even the day I represented the uh, Southern Nigeria Assembly, me and Edwin Clark, I spoke in Chibalova's house. That was the day I spoke out my mind. Those I will all build up who are so ungrateful, mm. who cannot do anything to help the family after his departure. I said it to Kumba Bobo, Mama, they were there, including Mama. In I spoke, Kene? In the Kene, my first time in Chivalo was home. I respect, admire, and from that day, I spoke. All these who are calling them Awis, I, I challenge them there. You are calling yourself Awis. I was, which I waste. I will always give you, you contested election, you won election. You can't use your father as a me, I be alone, Gundoko. I won so many elections. I have won with the name of my father, I be alone, Gundoko. Mm -hmm. And in my hometown, I have made several councils that I put them there and they believe me. And when my father will come to Iwo to make a campaign, we now talk about, I want to bring road. Mm -hmm. I want to do this. His own campaign, when he gets that way, that First bam bam, you call Abiolo Ogunoku. Don't call him Ogunoku. Call him Ogulu too. That made me more popular. That was when election every time. Ogulu Ogulu too. 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 Ogulu he will contest the election with me. Okay, the prince that came to greet you. His father. Yes. Baba Ola was sponsored his father against me and I defeated them. I know he came to beg you this morning. I think he came to apologize. Uh, no, no, this is my son. <laughs> God. His father, Kanta mm. Ejenjue, contested the Council Assembly with me in 1977-76. I beat all of them. All of them. Flat on the floor, sir. Uh, prince Abbe, even sponsoring another candidate. Mm. It's happy, I did against me for this election. I swallowed them and licked them. I licked them. <laughs> no, you are the lion of working though. So you have to just devour and swallow them, sir. <laughs> I am very sure that's the beginning of mm. my walking to Baba's heart. Mm. How did he now see the Ogulu to inside Concord? He was commanded to sit beside the Ogulu to inside the Concord. No. It was at the way it was, I said, addressing rally. Okay. okay. It was a election campaign. They brought Ababolo to Iwo, <laughs> and the trouble of Iwo is Abiyalo Gunoko. <laughs> I understand now. I was a councillor with the highest foot in Iwo land, in Iwo local government. His father was uh, a councillor with me. Abi. You can't win the election, or go to Queen's here. And subsequently, want to contest the election. I put people together, put them in the council, and we always win. Hmm. <laughs> but people want to ask that, what was the magic one that you are using? The magic of God. That everybody you want will just be there, even up to producing like three to four SSG in Ocean State. Uh, before that, we are talking about uh, when Baba Wolo was, uh, but I wish we can have an Baba Wolo back today. I wish we can have Baba Wolo back today. Nigeria would be a better place. Are you sure, sir? Because he has learned his lessons. Hmm. I will tell you why. Come down, come down, Sile. Hmm. Baba Lowo is a generous, Baba Lowo is a good man, but the only thing that destroys his party is the violence and destruction of opponents. Huh. Vicious violence and destruction oh, of no, opponents. No, 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 no. And one thing that was rampart in their party was you have to be part of the cult. 
you have to be deep down there with them. You know, before you get in, you have to swear to something. Mm -hmm. That's why you see most of them dying off after quitting that party. Good man, the greatest made the mistake he made was his quarrel with her, Akintala. Hmm. I think Akintala was brilliant, he was a good writer. He was he not just being writer. A good thinker. Oh. He has been campaigning that the Saudi Yorubas should work with the North. That was his greatest undoing. For saying that, he became it was alleged of doing certain things. Mm. But what Akitola said is working today. Mm. Let's work today. How will I be allowed win election? If he didn't work with Aousas. Mm. Those are problems. And that's how we started NP, uh, NNDP. Uh, win the NCNC and Akitola with Akitola's um, Loma Kulumbu fused together. Coalition. Uh, coalition. And that became the premier of Panika I was publicly secretary of the NDP for also division. Also state today was an also division. Then I was the public secretary of the mm. NDP. Mm. That's a deep time, long time history. I don't want to talk of Baba Wolo. I'm in love with him now. <laughs> oh, before he died. Oh, you saw? And, that is, and that's why I like and respect Tokumbo. Oh, the daughter, that that ambassador. When I excellent ambassador, to Kene, I get a lot of good respect. But they have one good talent in my very, very great good friend, Senator Tony Adifuye. He worked and made friends for the Awus. See, tomorrow is my greatest friend. There's nothing we do, I will not be there. There's nothing I do, you will not be there. That is the great senator after that if he is. Very wonderful man. I will always we will live very long, better than now. Amen. Hello. Say hello. 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 That, that, that's a great one. Church. That's a great one. Seriously. Oh, you have always been a friend of Kazabuzi Church. Yeah, I remember I came to your house in 28 Niwo. One pastor came. Hey, and, they, you have you, to feed them. They are talking to God. I you are a Muslim. You are the back of a Muslim. You are a And you are doing much for church. Uh, I remember the, 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 the church you. that healed Lulu of mentality in the here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Of you illness know, of the head. Uh, Selika, Selika Church. Selika Church, okay. I asked for the Olu because I've met him before. Mm. Olu abuses him, but I can never forget that man. He was the man who healed you when you ran mad. Mm. I sent 25,000 to that church last mm. week. Mm. For, their, for their small animals? Mm. Anything they call God, mm. in first, in it. Because, yeah, because they are calling God to assist them to take their prayers. They don't say what is true. They should answer my prayer. Mm. Mm. If you go to Waji Ogun now, they will say Ogun, God help us. Yeah. So, so, so you, Ahulo was a good man. You appreciate his knowledge. You appreciate his by, sense of leadership. By my little knowledge, mm. at the time I met him, Yes, sir. I find him to be a good man. Mm. Irrespective of whatever records mm. and my understanding of his administration and political sagacity. Mm. Uh, if we were to be alive today, and he can accommodate the opposition, Nigeria could have been a better place for us. Accommodation is the fact that you will not have any vengeance against opponents. He lost a man like Akintola, one greatest mistake he made. 
Every one I do, I can tell I went up. But one shall refuse to do anything other than a Kitola slave. So that means Akitola was also profoundly prominent in his domain. Akitola was the, a key, key actor. You know, he the man speaks Yoruba. He has travel marks just like you, sir. He is my brother. Hmm. When we marched together, NCNC and the Alama Kulumbu, most of us were so close. I became confident. Mm. Mm. Uh, Nigerian uh, Democratic Party, formed by SLA. You know when he left. When they wanted to disgrace him out of the uh, action group, he formed a certain outfit. Can you call it the movement? Which matched with the NCNC led by Fanikayode. No, Fanikayode is the senior. Same kind, Fanikayode. Wow. Was the Babanayade, he was Ibon. That is the father. The father. The, father, the former deputy premier of Western Region. Hmm. Akitola was premier, Fanikade was deputy. The father of this present yes, uh, visitor in chief, from Fanikade? Yes. Hmm. So you mean Akitola had to? Create that one. Yes, it's safe. When they won, you know they they went all out to destroy Akintola with the media power. Not just with the, 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 the party, mm. they never believed that uh, you know Akintola was premier when this crisis uh, erupted. Erupted. Yeah. So they said that they wanted to remove him and put uh, Adik Benro. Yes. Mm. The tradition ruler really made all efforts. Assembled at a jibo. Well, made a lot of assertive statements against the tradition ruler. Really. That was the beginning mm. of the fall of action group. Mm. 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 I don't know if we can have another Awolo again. I don't know if you can have another uh, SLA again. But, but, but do you think that it was because of the domineering nature? Because a lot of people believe that Aulo wanted to go to the center and seek control the local uh, the local influence, political influence. And his uh, wife was the, also asserting some kind of authority on the wife of Akitola. The problem is that uh, you have one to Baba Bufigun, Ajoku, and Sile. Baba was the leader of the opposition at the Federal Ministry of uh, uh, Representatives. Akitala was already Premier. Akitala will not submit himself to any control. <laughs> He's a wizard of politics. He knows how to talk to people. No other person. Can you imagine? I'm shocked, sir. Ask anybody. He knows how to talk to people. He was an orator. He has, he has the command. So it was a mistake. When your deputy is that strong, you cannot work to destroy him. He was saying, let us work with the North. We cannot do it alone. That was the greatest, the greatest offensive political committed. Hmm. And uh, then it came about this uh, 
probes upon probes that Baba Wolo was found guilty. Cocoa House, Mobile Estate, Shanibari Estate. For all traced to. Look, I don't want to talk about. Let us talk about. Even the finance corporation under <laughs> Omobaki, Ali Olubadi, and all the rest. That, maybe that was a dirty part of history. You know, I, I am not really. I'm not really too good. I'm not too favorably disposed to go back to the healed wounds. Because now I see our all was whatever they do today mm. or in the past. And I have a very great friend that is always that's Tony Adifuye. Mm. That is Chief Anthony Adifuye, the great. My friend. The, 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 the. I will not hurt him. Mm. And uh, I see myself as a friend of the always. Not those who are using our law to chop. Hmm. Hungry, political. Or those that are putting on his cap too. They call themselves progressive. Where is the progress? With all the money, many of them still. I, I, the day we had a meeting in our law's house in our, hmm. I told them to, to their eyes. They don't use our law to climb up to be somebody. Hmm. Our law is not alive, but his, his spirit hmm. lives on. Hmm. I'm happy like uh, the daughter to Kubo is working very hard. One bad thing in their party is that you are not part of their beginning. You can never be anything. They see you as a stranger in the party. Even now, when they want to do serious things in the APC, when they come to the government, they remember you are like after some years that I, uh, we walk to them in the APC, they see that my presence makes the votes. They still say it's PDP. Is this? <laughs> I was going to ask you that question because I was. I want to ask you a technical question. That they still see you from their bachelor year perspective, and this I people, am an bachelor apprentice tomorrow. And these people appear to be somehow politically unforgiving. They were all part of a bachelor. <laughs> How do you mean, sir? Because I was, I, I, I know what was happening. Abacha was a good friend of Tribune. You said Tribune newspaper? Dia was a good friend of Tribune. They were, they were supporting Tribune to, to exist. Is in terms of adverts or...? or Financial yeah. and good support. Because Tribune is not an organization you are allowed to die. Like and an institution, any reasonable government that was against Tribune is an enemy of the society because here in this part of the world, Tribune has done a lot, whether favorably or negatively, to the southwest. Mm. But yeah. the type of policy we pay here is that if I don't get it, I destroy it. What about Bulese? You can see the struggle. Between uh, Adeguinro, Akitala, Bababolo, you see that? Mm. When you are fighting, you don't say your enemy should die or destroy him and disgrace him. Mm. We wanted to destroy Akitala, Akitala could not be destroyed. The thing that destroyed Lord Dev, that they killed Akitala and some others. Mm. That was the answer that set to the action group. Mm. Mm. Hmm. But with the benefit of inside, if Awu and Akula have an, an alliance, do you think? If Baba Ola will definitely and uh, betterly listen and work with Akitola, it will have been better for the Yorubaians. What Akitola was like, we can't do it alone. Let us work with the North. But today, now, the narrative of Appear to have changed because the majority of Yoruba are talking about having our own nation, Yoruba nation, because of what it appears politically that it not, it looks as if there is no fair equity, there is no balance of justice. Most of the strategic position from the MPA to other sphere of influence That's a are very taking bad it. One. You know, and some people are saying, no, look at about crypto now. All of them are now saying, okay, let's come here, let's have our own nation, let's. Aggregate our resources. Now you want to have your nation. 
Yes.